What is going on guys? Nick Bake here and we have found a E500 or a 500E I guess you could say and it's Mercedes Benz W124 or 500E with the M119 engine the V8 so pretty classic well known car I know a lot of people that had this car so it'll be a pretty fun build to uh picked up so let's uh, buy it and we'll send it to the garage so we can fix it up and I'm um, doing this recording a second time because basically I already did a video for the e-class and so I had to be searching around through the junkyard to find another e-class because what I found out is that I had the music on and uh, wasn't able to monetize or anything so I have to actually redo the video all together as you can see we already found an E-Class and we did the S-Class, the SL which was the last video and then I was doing an E-Class which this is what's going to end up looking like in the end but we got another one and we're just going to start fixing it up round two basically so Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, it's nice to see that everything's pretty much opening back up. Uh, most of California has opened up. The gyms have opened, so I can work out. Uh, got a little bit over excited and uh, worked out a little bit too much. I've been sore for like four days. <laughs> so I haven't really lifted weights for a while. So I got pretty sore, I guess, because uh, my body's not used to it. But still actually maintain quite a bit of uh, strength with the uh, diet I maintained during the pandemic quarantine time, quarantine time. so uh, still retain pretty good strength actually and I kept myself pretty decent shape as well I was pretty lazy actually I was eating all kinds of stuff like ice cream and fat food things like that so but I kept it pretty uh Pretty good otherwise. So, I worked out and all that, so uh, just working my way back up to the strength that I had before. I'm not too far off, so uh, maybe I'll do some videos on that. I don't know really. I was thinking about doing some motor vlog videos again. I do have tons of motor vlog vid videos, footage that I have already taken. Uh, I might just start doing that as well. Kind of in a lead up to the motorcycle mechanic simulator, which they were calling it motor mechanic simulator, and then they changed it to motorcycle. So they're still kind of developing it. It's supposed to be in the fourth quarter that the uh, motorcycle mechanic comes out. So I'm excited for that game. That will be pretty cool. I have like a bike shop and all that kind of stuff. I might do some like little vlog videos and stuff like that from uh, footage I have taken and stuff like before the pandemic and then uh, recently just got a 4K camera so uh, see how that's gonna look. Got the tire on the bike. I uh, got the exhaust fixed on it because it was like really bad. I was worried I was going to burn out a piston or a head or something with the motorcycle, but I uh, was able to get the exhaust fixed and uh, everything, so it worked out. So the bike's good to go. It's still doing oil change and I got the oil already, so all kinds of stuff going on. I got a brand new rear tire on it. Yeah, all good to go for like the next year basically for uh, work and stuff like that I am still uh, pretty much just enjoying the unemployment so far because they're adding the uh, extra pandemic help and stuff in there so uh, may as well get that while I can right it's just, uh, stopping on the 31st I think so if they keep it going, people aren't going to go back to work, that's for sure, so. Makes total sense. I'm ready to go back to work, though. I'm tired of sitting around and bowling or being bored, so. 
I was excited that the gyms were open, so hit those pretty good. A little bit too much, I guess, because uh, I've been sore for like four days now, as I said before. And it's nice to see that things have uh, calmed down from all the fun events that have been happening in the 2020 year that we've got so far. I'm sure we've got uh, all kinds of stuff to look forward to for the rest of 2020. And uh, did see a comment, actually, I was laughing pretty good on, uh, like, who's going to be the, the boss in December of 2020? Like, who's going to be the main boss <laughs> for 2020? Like a video game, like, uh, we've been having all these villains and obstacle tools and stuff to, uh, deal with all this time, this whole year, just all kinds of craziness, and then there's always got to be that big boss at the end, right, so that's uh, what I'm looking forward to. It'd be pretty interesting to see the end of the year pass and see if 2021 getting better. Also, although I did see a meme as well about the... Uh, You know, 2012 Mayan calendar was wrong, and the Mayan that did it was just dyslexic, so uh, you got it mixed up. So it's actually 2021 is when it's supposed to happen. So it'll be pretty interesting to see uh, if that would be true, or probably not. Uh, but it's pretty cool to see that uh, we've been able to go into space on our own without having to pay. You know, Russia to get us astronauts up to the space station, and Elon Musk is doing all kinds of cool stuff with the cyber trucks and whatnot, things like that. Uh, SpaceX, that creates its first starship, which looks pretty ridiculously uh, silly, I have to say. Uh, but we'll just have to see how it does and uh, where it goes. Uh, and then what also I thought was pretty cool was uh, he was thinking of making uh, like rocket trips like around the world so we could travel a lot faster than the, uh, you know, our airplanes and things that take like 10, 12 hours to fly like, to a different country or whatever. You can get there in like an hour or a half hour. So that's really cool. And the tickets they were saying would be like twelve hundred dollars a piece, which I mean considering pretty actual cheap tickets for that. So considering all the money and millions of dollars they they put into those rockets to get you there and all the sophistication and stuff like that. Of course, it looks like they wouldn't have any of those fancy amenities that you would have in a airplane flight, but when the flight is like an hour or half hour, like who really cares? And you're basically probably going to be feeling some serious G's uh, doing those uh, travel trips and stuff, and I think Elon Musk was saying it would be like two or three years before they were even going to test uh, like Earth-to-Earth -earth travel, I guess is what they're calling it, so pretty cool actually to be alive to see them build a starship just to serve us even so that's pretty interesting whether it fails or it succeeds I'm, I'm excited for it so I wouldn't think it would fail because they're already able to make rockets strong enough to lift a heavy amount of weight so the starship shouldn't be too much of an issue I wouldn't think I think the biggest problem is not lifting off or launching. I think it's the hardest part for them probably would be to land on Mars, so. And then surviving and trying to build the base while they're there, so. I mean, they don't, they're not going to be able to get any help or, uh, you know, extra stuff or anything sent to them. Because the trip is such a long distance, so 
they really ought to make sure that uh, they got everything ready to go for that because if they don't they're stuck stranded and they're uh, pretty much screwed on Mars so. I mean it'd be cool to be the astronaut that goes to Mars but I don't know if I would really want to to be honest there could be so many things that go wrong during the whole thing and especially when they uh come in to land with as big as a starship as it is, like trying to hit that atmosphere at Mars, even though I think it's like a little bit lighter than the Earth's atmosphere. So maybe they'll be okay, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see and find out, I guess. Otherwise, I'm just going to enjoy... America opening back up and being able to do stuff again, so that's all I care about. And that's cool and all, but I uh, really just want to enjoy life again instead of stuck inside all the time, so. Alright, so we're just going to do this easier and grab all this stuff. Dish away. We got some covers and stuff. Probably get aftermarket thing. Might need two of these and then two of those. And actually, might need four of these. I think because that's part of the part of the engine. Since I've already done this engine, um, you know, so I pretty much know what I'm doing already. Um, so that should be aftermarket. Uh, I'm just gonna grab. Well, it might be aftermarket, but I'm just going to grab it anyway. Grab some belts. Uh, let's get this muffler, power steering pump, oil pan, and the throttle. So I don't think there's a whole lot of uh, aftermarket parts we can put on the car, but. We'll find out. I can't remember exactly what we can get in it. Obviously we can get the pistons though. So let's get that going. But yeah, there's so much going on. It's pretty cool to be around and live right now. Alive because uh, so, much, so many things happening. So many things going on at once. It's crazy. Not always the best things going on, but still it's like everybody's kind of been dormant and bored and now they're like all waking up now like everybody is like awake again we've all been just so bored like over the past like decades or so like and things have just gotten easy and then we finally have some kind of pandemic and big issues going on and stuff, so it's like, oh, well, I guess it's not boring anymore. It's actually stuff going on. All right. So, come on, Caps. Let's work with me here, shall we? But I'm definitely waiting for the uh, Motor Mechanic Simulator to come out, so that'll be the next game I'm doing for sure. I was thinking about doing some Moto Vlog videos, see how they do, just to kind of fill in some gaps in times, because I mean, there's only two more cars for Mercedes-Benz DLC to do after this E-Class, so won't really be doing many videos off of this anymore. Although I might do some with the, uh, the new rims, I guess, too. Or I could just take cars I've already fixed up and showcase the rims or show the rims I already put on cars. So. Either way. Doot, doot, doot. 
Alright, let's see if we can get these aftermarket parts. Oh, well, look at that. We need two of these then. Oh, we can get the throttle. I wasn't sure if we could. Get the exhaust. Yeah. Should have waited, but not like I'm going to waste money. Got endless amounts of money here, so. Oh, you know what? We need two of both. Now that I remember that. If I remember correctly. Pretty nice you don't have to put any bolts in. So what's nice about these Mercedes Benz cars, they're really quick and easy to put together. Although they're really hard to find in the junkyard, so. I think I went through the junkyard like 20 times before I even found another E class, so. Maybe even 25 times, I don't even know. I was keeping track. It was a lot, though. But, uh, let's do round two on the 500E class, because the music had been turned on, and so it was hitting me with strikes and stuff like that, which I was shocked to see. They may have just changed that because, or uh, started doing that claim because I swore I could use all kinds of music on uh, Car Mechanic Simulator before, and I never really got a strike, so. Although maybe I just didn't have it on. Who knows? Because usually I typically have it off. And this microphone is very soft very quiet and it's kind of Windows 10 doing that as well so I don't know what the deal is with that but so maybe we didn't need four of those I think I was thinking of a different engine or I needed four of the pulley thing in the front may have been the S class possibly I'm not sure But moving right along here, getting it done. Oh, I guess I grabbed the wrong water pump, so we need this A-arm thing. That steering pump. I don't think I have any rollers. I have the cover. And the fuel rail. So V8 pulley. And the arms and stuff. Uh, that's right. That's how you spell it. I was thinking I needed this pulley, but I guess it's for a different car. Alright, so... Oh, how I missed the arm. Completely spaced getting that. Um, I think I need like 16 of these. It's like 8 on each side. Uh, what else do we need? Oh, we got that, we got that, we got that. Should be able Right. Got the arm. Oh, that's right. We need the roller. Oh, we did need this one. Okay. Alright, so we need rollers. Did I buy this one? I'm just going to do it again just to make sure. Need like, like a bunch of them. Probably going to be a few of these. 
I can't remember. Need a fan. Need a radiator fan. Radiator, radiator, radiator fan. Radiator fan. But I gotta say, it's pretty cool to see that our economy is just exploding back almost to normal. Like in a couple months, we'll be back to normal, is what they're predicting. So it's pretty crazy that if you're able to shut down everything for as long as you did. Well, I guess it's not really that big of a deal, I guess, right? Or not that impressive, because it's like we're closed for a couple months, and then it only takes a couple months to get back to where we were, so not such a big deal, I guess. Sounds good, though, I guess. And then hopefully... Maybe with the uh, police reform stuff that uh, cops won't be such dill holes anymore when it comes to things. I know I've had some bad run-ins with them before in the past. They can really have a power trip. There's always really good cops out there too, so I don't want to overshadow that, obviously. There's good cops out there, and they do a good job, so. I really don't think defunding the police is a good move. It's just going to cause way more problems. But people can have, be entitled to their opinion, I guess. Talk all kinds of stuff about everything and just be annoying. Really, if they want. I mean, they have to actually, like pass those type of things to actually happen and then it's up to each state obviously on that so if you're in a state that's not going to get rid of them then you don't have to worry about anything so. but if you're in a state that they're defunding the police or getting rid of them altogether, I would suggest getting the heck out of Dodge which basically means get the heck out of there as quick as you can because things are going to go downhill so freaking fast in those areas unless they manage to pull some kind of miracle out of their butts or something or maybe they realize that they do need some kind of policing and they'll do their own type of setup and then things will be better but it's just not a good uh, not a good idea I don't think I mean, the citizens can protect themselves. I'm not saying they can't, obviously, but it's nice to have uh, cops around to, you know, investigate murders and, like, look into crime and stuff like that. And the rest of us can uh, focus on other jobs and stuff and not having to worry about somebody breaking into your house, killing you, or doing all kinds of crazy stuff or whatever, so... I mean, that's what I would rather have, so. And it's so funny how they uh, get all upset and they're always pointing fingers at other people about everything. It's just hilarious, so. It's funny to watch the time. And what's funny is they just, uh, they just make things so easy on the rest of people because they just look so stupid with what they do. They just make such bad choices. I just have to laugh sometimes. Like, really? You weren't smart enough to figure that one out? Or like, they're told this, this, and that, and they don't listen, and then they're like, oh, well, I guess you're, they don't want to admit it, I don't think either, but, uh, it always seems to turn out the way they're 
warning them about it. Like, better not do this or you're going to be in trouble. Like, it's not a good sign. They're like, no, nah, it'll be fine. And lo and behold, they're like, freaking out. Help! We need help! Help us out! It's like, well, we tried to tell you before, but if you're just going to keep not paying attention, then that's on you there. I really wish I had done employment sooner, because, man, I could have uh, made a heck of a lot more than I did off of it. Uh, but, uh, oh well. Not like I really needed it that bad, so. I'm pretty good with my finances and being prepared for situations like this happening, so. This worked out pretty good. You win some, you lose some, I guess. Did I not get ABS stuff? What the heck, dude? I guess not. And then I forgot, there's two air cleaners on this thing, so... There's also going to be four clips on it as well. Let's see, there's probably an air filter for this one, maybe? I would have gotten it already if there was, I would think. Oh, okay. I may have gotten one already. Yeah. So let's need a tool. Look at how fancy that looks. Yeah. And then I need four of the clip A's. Whoops. Didn't mean to back that far out. Far out, dude. Far out. As I've probably said before, I sound like a ham radio station. Probably the most boring sounding monotone voice ever. You get uh, energy back, maybe when you get into that age where I need to drink a lot more coffee to be like, Yeah, I'm so excited. How are you guys doing today? I wasn't even like <laughs> close. It wasn't even a good effort at all. I'm kind of sleepy, so that's probably why. So we got us our red E class here. Whoa. Why am I so far back? These, uh, oop, nope. They're really going to need a lot of stuff for this one. And, uh, may as well get the flywheel and all that stuff. So we need the clutch thing, I'm a jigger. The flywheel. And the clutch as well. You know, the one thing I forgot was, uh, hang on, I got it, in my mind, no, I'm just kidding, basically, I, uh, forgot to wear sunscreen, so I got a pretty good burn on my head, so, when you don't have hair, you, uh, get a pretty good sunburn if you don't put anything there. Because it's literally the first thing the sun hits, obviously. So it burns pretty easily and quickly, so. Oh well, let's just give it a nice thing, I guess. 
I'll get a nice burn going and then uh, just tan like a mofo. Just got that, I don't know, mix of Indian skin or something. I have no idea. So, um, maybe it's rear. I don't think I was even paying attention. Oh, here we go. Should be that one. We can get our fancy drive shaft in here. Fancy drive shaft. Oh yeah. I still have to uh, figure out how to do mods. I've never had it mods to PC, so that is something I need to look into and figure out how to do. It's pretty easy, I think, so. I haven't dealt with that yet. And with the gyms open and everything opening up, I'm more interested in going outside and doing stuff. So I'm like, yeah, I'll get to that later. Spend enough time inside. We'll grab a steering rack, and then we'll get the uh, tie rods, uh, toy rods. That for sure. Oh, we got both floor. Oh, we don't have any rubber bushings though. Look out. Use your rubbery, rubbery bushings. Rubber bushings. That's right, I have to click it. I can't just uh, hold the button down. Just in case we need the small ones. I don't think we need the small ones at all. Uh, 4th of July is going to go really well. I'm sure everybody's going to enjoy the 4th of July this year. It's going to be a pretty big deal compared to most, I think. Honestly. Probably be outside and grill and cook, eat some good food and celebrate uh, getting back to work and being able to buy all the cool stuff that you've been able to buy with your stimulus checks and things like that. Sweet bar, sweet bar, sweet bar, sweet bar. Just the normal one. And then should be the A link. Let's grab two of these because we're going to need it for the rear. Uh, I should go to the front again. And grab these spring of the bobbers. Spring, spring loaded thingamajigs. And I've been noticing a lot of uh, people with YouTube channels that don't have videos are just saying, love the video. Like, on the comments constantly. And it's the only thing they put, or whatever, or something else. It's funny because they'll just gain subscribers out of that, so I'm like, maybe I should start doing that with mine. If I would start gaining a bunch of subscribers just because I'm making weird comments and stuff. But I don't really bother doing that because it just takes so much time to do that. It just takes so much time out of the day having to comment on so many videos. I mean, I guess I could put a comment on the videos I'm watching on a regular basis, I guess. But that's just so much work. <laughs> Sound like a millennial right now. It's pretty funny. I happen to be born kind of considered a millennial in that stage, I guess, or something, or, like, right before that. So, I'm more of the generation before the millennials. 
where I actually like work and I don't bitch and complain about stuff all the time. I get things done. So kind of got maybe a little bit of a mix of that, possibly. But I don't think I'm anywhere near as bad as a lot of them. So, this is usually, if I have a job or work, I'm usually the one putting in most of the work, so. Other people. I just like working, like, it's just, it's, it's just a nice, Thing to keep your mind off of things and stuff like that, so I just enjoy it. That's why I like these mechanic simulators and stuff, because just working, sort stuff out if you want, in your head, while you're doing it, work, work shit out, you know. If you don't know, then uh, you should start trying to do that. Just fix something and then uh, work stuff out in your head while you're doing it. So it's a good therapeutic thing to do. Get stuff off your mind. Work stuff out. And go about your business. Alright, so I need all these suspension arms and stuff then. Shocker. Uh, probably need one of those. Need one of these. And then I need like two of these. Pretty sure I need one of those. I don't know if it was B or A. I'm just gonna grab both. Uh, I'm gonna need two of these. Two of these. Then I need the, the cap thing of jiggers, which I might actually have fixed. I need one of those. And probably good. Good for now, I guess. So, can't have any music on here anymore because are doing the copyright strikes now all of a sudden. Everybody wants that cheddar, I guess. I swore it didn't have any music on it, but uh, yeah, I guess I messed that up. Um, because I didn't get the hubs. Oh my gosh. And then uh, let's see. Let's go here. Oh. Hubbity hub hub. Hub hub hub. Oh yeah. Could have just went hub and then gotten all that in the same spot, but you know. Just winging it. Just winging it. There's no need to stress over anything. Pretty sure I need one of those yet. Okay, let's come back. Need some brakes, guys. We need uh, we need some fancy brakes. Need two of these, and then a caliper. I guess since I have two E classes, I can actually put like the fancier wheels on this one. Bigger rims for style. Such. Oh my gosh, I need a hub. And we're not um, in the hub area, of course. I always like to do that. We're back and forth between the same thing, and I should may as well just grab everything at once. Would be the smart thing. Getting down to the end of here, so getting close. Was right.
right, I needed some small bushings for that stuff. That'll work. Oh. Let's just get the tire out of the way. Alright, whoa. I forgot there's so much stuff back here. It's fancy uh rear ends. Did I put the battery to charge? I don't think I did. Oh, that's right, fuel tank. I'm like, what am I looking for a fuel pump for? Already grabbed one. Oh, it's on the back side. And I'm pretty sure I didn't charge the battery. I didn't think so. Oh, still missing this one. So many pieces of suspension. Okay, that should be good, right? Okay. That's all done. Let's put this battery in the charger. And as you guys can see, these are the original wheels and tires that would go on this car over there, but uh, we're going to try to uh, add a little bit of style to it on this one. So there's 16 inch rims already. Let's look for some new rims. You probably don't need to do a video about it because you can see it right here. So these are all the new rims in the Rims DLC. If you weren't aware. So where's the Mercedes rims? I think I passed it. Pretty quick. Um, where are you, Mercedes Ring? Just gonna do this. There we go. So we'll just go with these rims. We got four, and we'll go with uh, like twenty. And then we need tires. And what size tires do we have? They're all the same. So, uh, since we got pretty cool style on it and a souped up engine, I'll put slicks on it. Although it would be kind of cool to put slicks on a Mercedes Benz, I guess. Put the massive 315s in the back. Probably going to be sticking through the sides, but who cares. 40, and then uh, 2, we'll go to 20, and we'll do like 245, 55, should be good for a drag setup. If you're not aware, those uh, drag slick sizes, the 315, 40, and the 225 to 245, the 35 on the front is uh, ideal for uh, getting the highest top speed you can with the tires. I've actually tested that out. If you're not aware of that, so that's usually why I put it in that size most of the time for any cars. I'm going to take down the drag strip, get maximum grip them up to their highest speeds they're capable of. This would just be cool to see what it looks like. I didn't look if there was an aftermarket lights for this car. I probably should because I know these usually did have blackout headlights and headlights for this car in real life. They look pretty good that way. So these are basically SLS. Yeah, those are pretty stuffed. <laughs> the best, basically the SLS rims. 
which I still need to find yet. Need to find the 300 SL and the SLS. Nope, need this one. You know what? I forgot. Now that I'm on PC, I can do the star pattern. I keep forgetting to do that when I'm doing these cards. Holy cow. That's pretty cool. Alright, uh, let's see. So, star pattern would be like this. So, if you want to get cool and technical with it, I guess. There we go. Getting her all buttoned up. Alright, let's bring her down. Do I even have any potty parts that I fixed up, I wonder? Might have the bumper. Nope. No, let's we'll buy all the parts. Screw it. It's easier. Uh, let's see if we have any Mercedes tune-up stuff. Well, that's a bummer. Okay, so we're just going to get the normal stuff. So we can't get blacked out taillights or nothing. That's a bummer. Well, hang on a second here. I should put that in. Let's see if that does anything. Probably not. Nope. Get nothing. So let's just uh, grab all of these parts. Make it easier. Too bad they don't have the blacked out headlights and taillights for this car though. stripe on it already. Yeah, look at that. It's already set up for it. Those wheels on the back or tires look so huge. It's crazy. Where's the battery again? Oh, it's back here, I think. Uh, do I have to get out of this? I think I have to go back here. Yeah, look at that. Like, literally as stuffed as you can get it in there. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's back here. Alright, so that's all good to go. And uh, let's move the car into the paint shop. See what it looks like with this color. With the library. That's pretty much what it is. So, uh. Yeah, let's change the color. I don't like it. Let's go with, um. There's the black. Oh, it even makes it gray. It's got the two tone thing on it. That's nice. So, let's go with that. Let's make it simple. And we'll take it to the dyno. Still got some other stuff like the plates and the stuff to put on it. But need to see what kind of power this thing's got. With all the extra stuff added to it. 
Which I think I did with the other car too. So. This will just be a drag car. So we got 326 to start with, 354 foot pounds. We got 487 horsepower for 515 foot pounds. So that's pretty good. Just a regular V8 in a Mercedes, so pretty cool. All right. Sweet deal. Yeah. A little bit of a tilt in the front and stuff. Um, out of that. The bench out of it. And let's go shopping for the interior. Can't spell that out. Really? What about, uh... That'll work, I guess. Let's get the regular seats for it. Nothing fancy. It's already got the wood trim in the middle of it, so... Gotta keep that classic steering wheel, so there's their Mercedes-Benz here. It runs! Woo! Alright. Well, cool beans, man. It's pretty awesome. That thing is ridiculous. Okay, let's uh, tune this real quick. Probably need to add another year here. And uh, we'll put it at... 206. Just so I can get to that. And we'll take it to the track just to uh, see how fast it goes. Just for fun, because I haven't done this with the other cars yet. And it loads pretty quick from uh, garage to, you know, this area, so. Yeah. Look at that power. Woohoo! Yeah, it sounds good. That's a lot of sensibility. I knew there was a there was a brain surgeon that had one of those. I mean, obviously he's got money up the wazoo. I got a ride in that car; it was pretty cool when I worked at Mercedes Benz. So, as a young kid, like 25, got a ride around in that. That was pretty cool. So, but this is the 500e. This is it all souped up and in kind of drag form, and that's how big the tires are going to look. Can pretty much stuff 315s in there pretty well and it'll uh, look really nice so have at it guys uh, when it actually adds to the consoles which I don't think it has yet but uh, I might be wrong about that by the time this uploads so if you guys like the video definitely leave a like definitely subscribe don't forget to hit the bell and get notified when my videos are up see you guys in the next video